PR. We like lost to one boat Dumbo at the Mango. I'm like, oh man, no. Is he 16? Yeah, 16 currently on the PR. Mm. All right, yeah, good old Pokemon Stadium. I believe he's 16. I, I, sh I should. Oh, like, I have most of the PR memorized. I thought he was like 18. I don't know. I mean, he is 16. I was right. Okay. Yeah, he's 16. He's actually ranked below Master Mario, ranked above Johnny Westside. <laughs> So All we'll right. see how this go game one goes. Mega Roy Man. versus Mega Man. All right, this is gonna be interesting here. Are they button check? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think they're doing seven here. Starting it off. What do you feel about the Mega Man uh, Roy matchup? To be honest, it's something that I'm not really used to seeing. Uh, Mega Man's mm -hmm. one of those characters that you kind of see every now and then in the top top level performance. And it's usually with the name of Kamame. I mean, who yeah, I was gonna say, is Kamame still yeah solely maining? Oh Mega no, Man? he uses like Mega Man, uh, Sheik, uh, okay. to name a few, and then he also uses, if I'm not mistaken, Palutena, as I saw earlier. Oh, Pali as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't gotten to see. Uh, I didn't even get to watch all the player any of the Japanese players yet so far. I'm gonna note the other event too. Uh, Zachary, I believe, ended up um, beating. I have to bring it up on my phone one more time. But Team Japan is here and so is Zachary, but he's actually not part of the tournament. I do believe I think Zachary is going straight home. He got the home. In Invitational, yeah. right? Yeah, I, th I think he's going straight home afterwards. Wow. Yeah. Just coming out for the one event. That's crazy. He's got school, man. He, he talked about how he's going to take school seriously, but he's not afraid to go ahead and represent his home team. Yeah, oh, okay. He beat Wrath. That's what happened. All right. Crazy. Yeah, Japan's always out here to play. Um, but yeah, we do have Mega Man utilizing Leaf Shield already. <laughs> One of those moves that was just buffed overall in the game. It was kind of ridiculous back in pre-patch until oh that recently God, nerfed. Yeah. Everyone was taking advantage of that. I think Yeti exposed that. Oh, that yeah. Too. <laughs> and it's so great. Look at how much percent Cyro has into it to the point that he has to leave Cold Shield and respect it a little bit more because he knows this is where Wumbo's actual percentage has been coming from. Mm -hmm. Oh, that down tilt looks really slow. Mega Man's down tilt? I don't know. I was like... Did yeah. you see how awkward that looked? I don't know if that's just me, but it was like, he's just sliding, like, having a good time. I don't know what that it's was. It's literally, like, a five-frame startup, and it's almost a full second of how long it goes. Ooh, okay, I like that recovery. Um, he, like, air dodge onto the ledge beautifully there. It's, like, perfect spacing. Nice, good jab, and kneeling to the double edge dance doesn't get the sweet spot in order to finish it off. Wow, he just... Know, just for free! Yeah. <laughs> and Sarah's looking to just get the spacing. He's kind of respecting Wombo right now. He's like, okay, I've been taking a lot of L's to this leaf shield. Here's my jab to back air, and I'm looking for some spacing here, and here's the latch oh. punish. <clears throat> yeah, great back air just coming out um, from Syra though, with Roy. That moves definitely, dev like, destroys super strong, especially when you're following up with it. Or it's just one of those characters that he's not even that slow, but his damage output um, and knockback power is ridiculous. Oh, Ooh, that yeah, that's gonna take it. Something as simple as like that, because Roy, unfortunately, his recovery is just very limited. Yeah, it's not as bad as it used to be in Smash Four. It was very, very low, but in this one, it got a little bit of a buff, and it's still pretty good. I mean, it's it's, yeah, it's better. It's not as bad as it used to be. <laughs> he just grabs him. <laughs> All right, just holding, uh, yeah, just going to hold shield on that. Cyrus just like, yep, not wanting to get hit by that leaf shield anymore. And yeah. wow, that killed him. This 80%. is going to turn around because Wumbo kind of had those opportunities where leaf shield did a lot of the damage, but when it came down to the neutral, Cyrus just kind of has more of it on lock than Wumbo would be. Okay, up be out of shield. That did tons of damage as well. But yeah, Wumbo tr trying, like, he's kind of having a hard time taking uh, the stocks. Yeah. He's kind of like slowly racking up damage, but I mean, Roy hits you three times and you're already at the same percent. So, okay. I like how he went off stage trying to go for a fair there. Yeah. But well, trying something things, different. One of those things Roy can do is just go for fair. I mean, it's so strong that if you hit the whole base of the sword, it will actually take out early stocks as well. And Mega Man's recovery is only good horizontally, so you can definitely just take him out early as well. With a rush. Mm -hmm. Pup. Most Mega Man's, most Mega Man mains tend to usually go for up B, save their jump, then go for a jump in directional air dodge, because that allows them to recover from really, really deep. Oh, wow, that up smash actually connected, and looks like it has multiple hitboxes on it as well. Yeah. Pretty strong. 
That was like the weak hit, but it still sent him up high vertically. Yeah, and good stuff for Syro to capitalize the spacing there. Got the sliding forward tilt and finishes off game one. I mentioned it earlier, right? Like, the one thing that Wombo kind of had over Syro was like, yeah, he got a lot of the percents really early on, but when it came down to the base neutral, the real meat and potatoes, as one would say, mm -hmm. like, Syro just kind of had that more on lock and it kind of left Wombo with just a one trick pony play. Yeah, that's true. It definitely looks like he's kind of having a f hard time um, not only getting the percentages, mm -hmm. um, but Cyro's kind of just like not letting him breathe. He's getting in his space, doing a lot of safe aerial attacks. <laughs> hey, oh, wow, we're actually seeing a character change switch to Shulk here. We were just talking about, I don't know if we'll get to even <laughs> mention anything about Shulk, um, but yeah, here we are. Yeah. Get we to just talk about it now. Here we go. <laughs> and it's kind of a matchup that I kind of feel that Roy can struggle if the Shulk is playing really, really well. You have such a great disjoint of the sword. Yeah. It's one of the biggest ranges Massive. in the game. <laughs> and not only that, the Monado Arts allow you to survive at percents against Shulk. The one thing you have to be careful for, obviously, is going to be Monado Arts such as Jump and Smash because you get that ridiculously early to, to Roy, of course. Yeah, you could kill super early with the Smash Monado as well. Um, and yeah, Shields makes it so hard for you to solidify the stock as well but another thing too is speed mm -hmm. uh shulks love to go on speed monado and just love to do their short hop nares and yeah with the just disjointed sword as you were saying is definitely going to be a lot of roy's um options mm -hmm. especially because he's a sorty but the, the reach is just completely different yeah and the thing about shulk being on speed monado iron is the fact that it decreases his jump height so going for those nares is one of those great plays because the jump height is decreased and able to hit your opponent a little bit lower and a little bit differently. So, so far though, Syro, not a stranger to the Shulk. He's fought Nico a few times, not too many as one would think. Yeah, we got uh, Nico for SoCal, but an interesting t thing too is that we're just not seeing Wumbo utilize uh, Buster at these low percents too, because Buster is when you are going to be racking up that extra uh, damage um, at those early percents. Of yeah. course, you take more if you get hit, but it's kind of like that risk reward, and if you're looking um, to get those low percent combos or just damage, that's what you need to do. And we yeah. haven't really seen him bring uh, Speed Monado out, just a lot of jump. Um, I mean, he had the right idea with the Smash Monado, but uh, yeah, definitely he's is coming back to so he's kind of slowly racking up the damage, and we're not really seeing any uh, like solid conversions coming out. Good there. I like it. Weights on the platform there. Okay. Yeah, great Nair's just kind of being patient. Here's Buster, finally seeing him uh, bring it out. Uh, yeah, and, okay. Yeah, Syro utilizing that pa platform as well. Okay, I haven't okay. really oh, seen I Wumbo, yeah, go for it. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 it's, it's all good. The one thing that I'm liking that Syro is kind of doing is being really cautiously optimistic because he knows he can just go for an opportunity like that and that'll just ruin his day. Mm -hmm. That's why that's when we kind of saw Sarah like, okay, I, I do see the lead here, but one opportunity for him to catch my jump and send me off stage with fair, it'll definitely take me places I don't want to be at. And that'll do it. Wow. Yeah, right when his shield Monado just kind of worn out. Takes the stock. And the thing about Monado arts too is that they all have different cooldowns. They're not all the same cooldowns. Some of them have longer, have last a little bit longer than odd others.